My name is Juan, and I never thought that one day an unanswered prayer would save my daughter's life. When my wife and I were married, we decided to be full tithe payers because we know that God will, quote, pour out blessings upon those who are faithful to that particular commandment. Well, one of the blessings that I really wanted was to own my own restaurant. But what kind of restaurant could I possibly own? All restaurants here in West Palm Beach are open on Sunday because that's where the money is from people going to church <laughs> and then going out to eat. So I thought and I prayed and I researched and I finally came up with a franchise that's never open on Sunday. The food is great and there wasn't any restaurants in our town. So I called corporate headquarters and they very happily told me, no, we're not planning on building a franchise anytime soon in your town. Well, I was a little confused because God had promised blessings to me if I paid my tithing. But life goes on and so did I. And about six months later, we found out that a millionaire had bought a piece of land on a popular road in our town and was opening a franchise of that restaurant. Well, I was, I was, I was crushed that God had promised me blessings if I followed the law of tithing. This was the blessing I'd wanted, and now he'd given it to somebody else. Asking ye shall receive was a lie. Knock and it shall be opened, should have been knock and the door will be closed and locked. I judged God and I found him lacking. But like a good member, I went on with my callings and I did what I should, and the years passed. Well, our daughter was born, and we found out she had severe peanut allergies. Well, that changed our whole life. I, we got all the peanut stuff out of our house. We stopped going to other people's houses that might have peanuts. We even went and asked the restaurants that we like to go to if they had peanuts on their menu, and we quit going to those restaurants. We even bring our food to ward activities so we won't worry about a peanut reaction from anybody. With that in mind, one summer day I was driving along at work and I decided to go ahead and forgive God because I really liked the food at this restaurant and have lunch there. So I went up to my restaurant and I opened the door and there in the lobby is a banner with foot high red letters proclaiming 40 years of cooking with peanut oil. Well, thoughts went through my head. This place uses peanut oil. My daughter is deathly allergic to peanuts. And then it hit me. If I had owned this restaurant when she was born, the very first time I hugged her would have been the last. And that's when I understood that God sometimes fails to bless us for very good reasons. I was a petulant three-year-old laying on the floor screaming, I want, I want, I want. And God was above me whispering the whole time, you'll find out why you can't have it soon enough. I am a firm believer in that God sometimes withholds blessings for our own good and that he just might understand a little bit more about what's best for me than I do. And this is the gospel to me.